Well, it's not every day a reporter can come up with an excuse to visit a chocolate factory, but today I have a golden ticket and Helios Chocolates is opening the gates for the first time in 95 years. So, hats and coats on and into the factory. It's been 300 years since chocolate was first mass-produced and Australians consume four and a half kilos of the stuff each year. Room after room, row after row of machines producing the finest chocolate. Now, the Hillier Chocolate Company was named after its founder, Ernest Hillier, an Englishman who moved to San Francisco before moving to Sydney and then here to Melbourne, where he started his factory. But after all this time, quality is still the key ingredient. Despite the cocoa, the milk and the sugar, it's all about the people here. In fact, their mission statement is, we will make a profit if we can and a loss if we must. It's not too many businesses that live by that motto anymore. And they keep the process as close to Ernest Hillier's vision as possible as the tour continues. This is where they mix the chocolate. First the cream, then the sugar, and finally the cocoa paste before it's pushed, squeezed and pumped into decadent chocolate. It is a fantastic job working in a chocolate factory. As you look around here, um, lots of action happening. The intoxicating smells of the chocolate, I love it. We see so many people here, it seems to go against everything we hear in management these days. Um, it's true. If you look at a, uh, say, European or US chocolate factory, it's all totally robotic. Here it's all people. You know, I have not seen one overweight person while walking around here. How do you all manage it? Um, we need to walk around a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate may be poisonous to animals, but not to me. The good news is it's a natural antidepressant and helps to ward off cancer and heart disease. Well, that's what they tell me. And they plan far into advance. This is the Easter Room. Watch out for those pink eggs. They produce 40 million of them a year. And so this is where the whole process of the factory comes to a conclusion. And just like back in 1914, the girls here individually place each of the chocolates from the production line into the boxes that we, of course, then go and buy. Each year they produce 65 million pieces of chocolate. One for me, one for the box. One for me, one for the box. And then, one by one, they're packed up and sent to shops. And there's plenty of magic here, all at the ripe old age of 95. But uh, just be careful not to eat too much. Aaron Young, Business Channel, Melbourne.